Tomorrow afternoon, a rally is planned to support the ousted chief of police, Paul Prine, whose relationship with Mayor Sandy Stimson publicly deteriorated this week. Stimson recently asked Prine to step down after what his office called a communications breakdown with the cyber division and after receiving troubling preliminary reports from a former U.S. Attorney's review of the police department. Now, Prine is calling out actions in the Stimson administration he says are unethical. Tonight, NBC 15's Andrew Ramey reports on a contract Prine says needs more scrutiny. Last month, the city received this performance review of Operation Echo Stop. The goal of the operation is to reduce gun violence and utilizes the gunshot detection system ShotSpotter. A company formed on October 19th last year, according to the Florida Department of State, called 321Z Insights LLC, based out of a Palm Bay, Florida home, performed that review. Records show it cost the city $92,000, and the contract went into effect November 21st of last year. Um, I couldn't find a business, couldn't find a website, couldn't find a business name, couldn't find the president's name that was on the letterhead. Um, and so if this company really did just opened up three weeks before we got the contract with them, then the question has to be, well, what have they done that developed a reputation that we would give them nearly $100,000 to do this third party review. A review that Prine says isn't flattering for the police department. I, I think it's uh, garbage. I, I think at the end of the day, it's a third party review uh, so that they keep their hands off of it, but once again makes a concerted effort at the taxpayer's expense to say the chief failed again. Mayor Sandy Stimson says the intelligence commander Kevin Levy decided who performed the review of Operation Echo Stop. Stimson says he became aware of concerns about 321Z insights two weeks ago and asked city attorney Ricardo Woods to investigate. There's nothing illegal about the company. Uh, the, the lady who wrote the report, her husband used to be with the National, Secur a national Security Agency and so uh, I think she formed the business because of uh, being a, a women-owned business and the opportunities that go with being a minority-owned business. You know, at this point in time, they have revealed nothing that shows any impropriety or illegality. A city spokesperson says the contract for the review was not bid out because the city does not bid professional services and noted the contract was approved by the city council. The spokesperson also says the husband of the 321Z Insights president had previously worked for Securus Technologies, which performed accreditation reviews of the Gulf Coast Technology Center. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. A spokesperson for the city also tells us the president of 321Z Insights is a technical writer and her husband has the subject matter expertise to perform the review. Now the rally that is being held Saturday in support of Chief Pride has been moved to Municipal Park. Officers organizing the rally say with the amount of people vowing to come, the original location would not accommodate the crowd. The number of folks on the Rally for Chief Pride Facebook page has now grown to more than 4,000. The rally is at noon tomorrow. For the latest updates on this story and more, be sure to download our NBC 15 News app and sign up for push alerts for breaking news on the go. It's free. Just scan the QR code on your screen to get started.